A topic that's going to come up a lot is corporate social responsibility this year or CSR. So we're just going to consider it within sort of the field of stakeholders now, but we'll come back to it with other topics like operations, for example. So what we're talking about is, you know, a business has got to consider not just the business side, but also the ethics and the corporate social responsibility issues when interacting with their stakeholders. So what are these things? Well, ethics, I don't think we'd ever get asked to define this, but if we did, you know, I guess we could say it's a set of moral principles about what is right and wrong. And everyone's got different ethics. One we might or, you know, very likely to get asked is what does corporate social responsibility mean? Well, we could define it as by saying it's the commitment by the business to go above and beyond the legal obligations it has. So the law might say you can only pay people $15 an hour, but you say that's not, you know, people can't live on that. I'm going to pay them $20 an hour, for example. But it's a little bit broader than that, because we could say it's also the commitment by the business to conduct itself in an ethical manner. So I guess if we look at what ethics are, we say to do the right thing and not the wrong thing all the time. It is also a commitment by the business to take responsibility for not just the economic consequences of what it does, but the impact it has on society and the environment and the commitment by the business to be accountable to a wide range of stakeholders, not just shareholders. So including employees, customers and local communities. That's the bit that this is our topic now. So we'll talk about it in that context. So um, I guess the first thing to realize is that what, what is considered ethical or socially responsible behavior is not fit like fixed in stone. It's different for every person and business and culture. So let's take an example. Let's say, do you think it is ethical or socially responsible to pay an employee $190 US dollars a month for a month of work? Okay, well that differs depending on what country you're in. In Australia, that is not considered ethical because the minimum wage is much higher than that. But in other countries, say Vietnam, so where a lot of Apple and Nike products are made, that is considered ethical. That is what people get paid in those countries. That is the socially responsible thing to do. So you know, it depends what country you're in. What about this though? Is it ethical to offer and market unhealthy foods to children? Well, that differs in what country you're in, but it also differs by what business you are. Grilled does not do that. Have you noticed grilled? I mean, you don't see a lot of grilled commercials or anything, but you do see billboards and stuff. They don't really target the children. It's more an adult's place. But McDonald's, they're massively into children. Their whole business is based around marketing to children. So, you know, you have Happy Meals with toys, which they're phasing out, but that's a topic for another day. Um, yeah, but not just that, there's a playground there. Playgrounds encourage kids. That puts pressure on parents to take the kids to McDonald's. Do you think that's ethical? Well, McDonald's does. McDonald's thinks that's socially responsible. And lastly, it also comes down to an individual thing as a person. It, do you think it's ethical to sell products which aren't recyclable or biodegradable? John thinks no. Mary thinks yes. Okay. So the point with the rest of this topic is to realize that, yeah, what is considered ethical or socially responsible differs by country, business, and person.